What is going on, Ice Fishing Freaks? Luke Reeser here from Too Fat to Hunt Outdoors. Welcome back to another episode. It's like uh, 7 o'clock in the morning. I'm waiting for my buddy Mike to get here. We're going to go explore on the backwaters of the Mississippi River and see if we can catch some fish. Uh, I do have a few minnows left. I think I got like, I think I got exactly 10 minnows left. And I got both my tip downs with me, so hopefully we can get some, uh, maybe get some crappie on them tip downs and we're going to do some jigging perch wouldn't be bad either i don't know this is the first time i've been to this area this year i heard it's been a pretty tough bite out here fish are pretty tight-lipped but we're gonna see if we can change that today i'm gonna get gooch packed up get the long rods out of the truck and we're gonna get hiking as soon as mike gets here stay tuned folks donkey hunting starts right now <clears throat> All right, folks, we're gonna start in eight feet of water. I got my tip down out. Got the innovative. Like I said, I got about 10 minnows left in my pack. So I might as well put them out. First drop, I got a little gold jig with a purple bone bug. See if we can make her work. There's a fish, tiny. Old tiny. Boy, they're racing up, but they're little. Lucky lose. There it is. A little bit of weight. That'll work. Got a keeper. Not a giant, but he'll eat. Keep going. Do work, little bone bug, do work. Really light bite. There's another one. That be a baby. Boy, they are tight-lipped, aren't they? Got them. Baby. Another light bite. This one might keep. Oh yeah. It's a good one. Decent one. Tall. Choked it. Man, I just can't believe how light these bites are. They're not even moving my spring bobber. Yep. In order to get the bite, you gotta, or to notice they're biting. <laughs> I 
Ooh, that guy hammered it. He tasted some hook. There he is. Too bad. Little pumpkin. Gotcha. Little crappie. Get in there. See you later. This is the land of the dinks. Old Pantastic on there. Oh, I don't know, man. This is the toughest bite that I've had this year. Gotcha. It's been quite a while since I've caught a fish. And that little dude just bit me. Holy cow. That might be the smallest one I've ever caught. Don't even have no color. Oh, well folks, here's the deal. I'm struggling out here today. I am gonna take the innovative down we'll take the dangler down and I'm gonna start walking back towards the truck I think there's two other spots I'm gonna hit I think before I call it a day but I'm not gonna give them a lot of time I've got a super super long walk to get back to the truck <clears throat> and I fished all over up and down this entire cut as far as you can see started not too far that way went all the way that way went way back that way towards the bend and then came all the way back here and I've only picked two fish up since we moved from our second spot whoo what a what a day all right tear these down Gotcha. Oh, man. Finally get one to bite and I'd lose him. Son of a biscuit. Oh, folks, that's a wrap. Oh, probably the worst day I've had this year. It's a really, really tough bite out here on the backwaters of Mississippi River today. 
I don't know what's going on the January lull or what, but marked quite a few fish, couldn't get them to commit, and still didn't mark near as many fish as I thought it would. Uh, I'm talking to everybody back here, it seems like everybody's in the same boat. I'm going home seven bluegills, and only three of them probably are decent. I guess on the positive side, caught some fish and didn't walk all the way out there just to get skunked. It was a long ways. Definitely caught the smallest fish I've caught this year yet, so that's a plus. Uh, everything today I caught on a Cadiz Cane gold color with a red Jurassic Plastics bone bug. Red was the only color I could get bit on. I switched to orange right there at the end, and I never marked any fish for it. So I never really gave it a good shakedown. But couldn't get bit on white, couldn't get bit on purple, couldn't get bit on mud bug. I think that's the only colors. Couldn't get bit on a live minnow. I don't know, is what it is. But I got seven fish to go home and eat tonight. Anyways, yeah, I'm going to get trucking, get back to the truck where I'm going to be a sweating fool. Um, go home, get everything charged up. My All my batteries are about dead. It was a long day. We drove a lot of holes today with the old light flight. So get everything charged up and... Uh, tomorrow's trip should be a lot better so stay tuned for that if you have not yet subscribed to too fat to hunt outdoors go ahead and do that right now hit the bell so you get notified every time i put on a video clobber that thumbs up luke reeser signing off always remember you're never too fat to fish